So recently I was driving along and I pulled over to a gas station and I saw this. Three cars towing. One after the other. One pulling two. And I thought, wow, that's, that's not safe. Is that even legal? And then I was thinking, you know, people are pretty ingenious. When we need something to get done, we know how to get it done. And if it takes tying three cars together, then three cars together it is. I've got a buddy who invented this cool thing. He just now put it out on the market. It's called Tap Hanger. He wanted a solution for easily hanging pictures. And he can now hang pictures perfectly in his house in like one minute. This little thing just has these little tap tacks. You put one in each corner at the top and then press it into the wall. Extremely firm. And then to take it off the wall, you just pull it off. And the tacks are so small, you barely see the hole in the wall. I mean, people are just brilliant. Look at this, these guys. We've got a shovel with a rope because they're hauling gravel and it's hard to scoop. So they're helping one another. We've got the basket, which was made by man, the shovel, the wood handle, the rope, the handle on the rope, well, there just seems to be no end to the ingenuity of people. There seems to always be another way to make a mouse trap. <laughs> so no matter how long people live, we'll always be able to invent things, reinvent things, make new things, make interesting things. I think probably the greatest inventor of all time was Leonardo da Vinci. I found a really cool video featuring his life story. Let's take a look after this cool mousetrap. Leonardo da Vinci, the true Renaissance man. No doubt you'd recognize the Mona Lisa, and you've probably seen a model of one of his countless inventions. These are all the work of Leonardo da Vinci. The celebrated painter and inventor was born in 1452 in Vinci, Italy, and those were only two of his many talents. He was also a sculptor, architect, philosopher, engineer, and scientist. His portrait, the Mona Lisa, is the best known painting in the world. He painted it between 1503 and 1506, and the identity of the woman behind that mysterious smile is still disputed today. Almost as famous is his mural, The Last Supper, which portrays Jesus with his disciples. Leonardo experimented with a new type of paint for the mural, which is why it's unfortunately very faded. Typical for the Renaissance, his subjects were mostly religious. Yet his work demonstrates that his true fascination was with nature, why clouds form, how plants grow, or how the human body is put together. Anatomy is also the focus of the Vitruvian Man, a human being standing in the center of a circle and a square. Leonardo's groundbreaking drawing depicts the ideal human body measurements and proportions. Today, the drawing is featured on Italy's one euro coin. One of Leonardo's greatest dreams was to fly. By observing the movements of birds, he invented the very first flying machines. A parachute was later assembled by scientists in the year 2000 using his original design, and it worked. The sky wasn't the limit for Leonardo, who was fascinated with water too. He studied the flowing motions of the waves and applied his discoveries to technological innovations, including diving gear, irrigation systems, and the very first water meter. As an engineer, Leonardo was centuries ahead of his time. As early as 500 years ago, he designed the first precursors of the tank and the automobile, and even a solar reflector. He spent his final years in France. By his death in 1519, he had developed a legendary reputation as a uomo universale, or jack of all trades. To this very day, Leonardo da Vinci is widely considered to be one of the most extraordinary people of all time.